Hi, it's Rick Cinelli here at the Lanham Club again. Um, I wanted to show you something that we're going to have on the, the Lanham Fresh menu next week. Uh, it's a cod dish. We're calling it called Cod Mediterranean. Um, you can do this as with pretty much any other dish that we've done so far with any protein. I am, however, using an 8-ounce piece of cod. Um, one thing I always recommend when you're cooking fish in a saute pan is to make sure it's dried very well. If you try and cook it with water on it, it'll stick to the pan and you'll be very upset with me. And I don't want that to happen. So as always, I'm going to season my fish with salt and pepper on both sides. I'm going to lightly coat just one side of this fish with flour, just the, just the top side, the flesh side of the fish, and I'll explain why. In a very hot pan, I'm going to use some vegetable oil, just a tablespoon or so, you don't need a lot, and you really want to make sure this pan is hot, or else the fish will stick and you don't want that to happen. And you'll actually almost see smoke coming out of that pan when it's ready. I've had it heating for a while, I would recommend a solid five minutes or so under your, under your um, flame to heat it up. So again. Just one side of the fish is, is, is floured. I'm gonna put that down into the oil. And now, the only trick that there is to this is you wanna make sure that that fish releases on its own. Do not try and move it, don't touch it. Leave it absolutely alone. And it will take a couple minutes. I'm gonna put just a little bit more oil in the pan just to ensure that it releases. So the reason why I'm doing just one side of this, this piece of fish with flour is because I'm going to bake it in the oven with some vegetables and tomato product and I want the bottom to be soft. So if you have a crunchy side on one side and a soft side on the other, it's a lot more tasty. So again, my burners are a lot faster than yours, so be patient. You will literally be able to see how that fish moves in the pan? See how it's moving? That's because the pan is very hot. You're going to take this fish, once you're able to turn it, you flip it over, take that piece of fish and put it to the side. See how it's nice and brown on the outside? At this point, I'm going to add my vegetables directly to the same pan. This is fennel, red onion, and these are some Sicilian olives that are pitted and sliced in half. I'm going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And again, I'm going to add just a little bit more oil to help this cook. And you want to just get a light brown on these vegetables. You don't need a whole lot, because it is going to cook in the oven. But if you get a little color on them, they're going to taste a whole lot better. And again, once it's in the pan, just let it be for a minute. You'll notice that the bottom of it will turn brown nice and caramel. If you look now, all of a sudden already, these, these veggies are brown. Again, your, your stove top is probably less, less powerful than mine, so it'll take an extra minute or two. At this point, I'm gonna add some white wine. This is probably two ounces. And as I always say, you wanna cook the wine down until the alcohol is evaporated. It does take a couple of minutes. I do have a sauce ready to go, just to speed this up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how to finish this sauce right now. Again, you're gonna wait, you're gonna wait probably two minutes at this point for that soft wine to reduce. You're gonna add some, um, some Roma tomatoes. These are just canned tomatoes with a little bit of their juice. I cut them in half. Some fingerling potatoes. These are cooked already. You wanna make sure you steam them first or boil them so they're tender. Those are gonna go right into the pan as well. Good solid tablespoon of fresh oregano. And a tablespoon of butter. Now at this point, all you want to do is bring this to a simmer. I have a sauce that's already done over here, just to help facilitate the speed. And this is the same thing that I did before, but I cooked the sauce down for probably five minutes. It's the same potatoes, the same olives, uh, celery, I mean, I'm sorry, fennel, red onion. I'm going to place this piece of fish raw side down in the middle of the pan. I'm going to spread the vegetables around and I'm going to place it in a 400 degree oven. This is going to cook for anywhere between 12 and 18 minutes depending on the strength of your oven um, and we'll see you back in a minute. Hi, right, we're back. Um, now this fish has been in the oven for approximately 12 minutes. Now again, it will, it will depend on how hot your oven is. Um, this is at 400 degrees. Um, it will vary a little bit. 
good indication as to when this piece of fish is finished. If you look in the pan, you see some white, like, white film coming out of your fish. Right when that begins to happen, you want to take it out of the oven. 99% of the time, that means the piece of fish is perfect. This is a great one dish pan, folks. I'm just gonna pour it into a dish. I'm gonna take the piece of fish, place it on top. It makes it look like you're a genius. Very simple, you saw how we did it. Um, folks, if you're, not, if you're not interested in using your pans in the oven, you can make everything accordingly as to the way I did it. Pour your sauce in a casserole dish, the piece of fish on top, and bake it that way. You can do this for one person, you can do it for 21 people. I hope you all have a happy Mother's Day, and uh, thank you very much. Stay healthy, please.